You know what I don't like about mental illness? Is the lying, the deception that we're forced to do. I've got schizophrenia. In my worst years, I felt like I had to try to pretend that I wasn't sick. Just try to pretend that I was normal. Just try to blend in with everybody else. Matthew, don't let anybody know that you've got schizophrenia. Don't let anybody know that. Just try to blend in. Try to look normal. Try to walk normal. Try to talk normal. Try to behave properly. It's like giving someone a lot of liquor and then asking, asking them to not appear drunk. I didn't want to look the way I looked. I didn't want to walk the way I walked. I didn't want to talk the way I talked. I couldn't help it. My brain was doing things that made me act that way, think that way, do things. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It felt like I was locked in the trunk of a car and somebody else was driving the car around and he looked just like me. Hey, look, there goes Matthew, and I'm locked in the trunk of the car. No, 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 I'm in here, I'm in here. I'm, that's not me. That's not me driving the car. That's not me acting like that. That's not me. And I, there was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't get out of my body. I couldn't escape it. And I hated that. And yet I had to try to blend in. Blend in, Matthew. Try not to let anybody know you've got schizophrenia. That was the 90s when I first got diagnosed, my worst years. Now it's 2021, we're talking a lot more about mental health in the last year with the pandemic, but yet still other mental illnesses that aren't as common, like schizophrenia, are still not totally out in the open. I still, and I this so bothers me, I still have to whisper, lower my voice when I say the word schizophrenia if I'm out in public and I don't know who's around me, with strangers around. If I know who's around me, I'll say it out loud. I'll say it online, oddly enough. It's weird how the world works that way. I'll, it's, it's all over online that I, that I have schizophrenia. But I still just can't go walking down the street saying schizophrenia. I, I don't feel like I can. I wish I could. That bothers me, being a mental health advocate and someone who wants to inspire other people with schizophrenia to stand up. I'm working on it. Maybe someday I'll be able to do that. Maybe, hopefully even better, our culture will change where it's okay to say that out loud in public. Just like cancer. People say cancer out loud in public. People do. People have been saying that for decades now. So-and-so's got cancer. We have parades. Well, not, well we've got races. The cancer's everywhere. And it didn't used to be. They said decades ago, if you had cancer, don't talk about it. Hush, 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 hush. Don't talk about it. We've made, gr we've made great strides with improving mental health and how we talk about it. Great strides, and I am so thankful for that. Can we work a bit on schizophrenia? I was diagnosed in 94, and I was told that it's a very, it's a very scary, confusing, overwhelming time when you can't think properly. Part of my brain could think properly, other parts of my brain couldn't. And it wasn't until 2000, 2001, 2002, one of those years, where I, where I read somewhere that people with, men, with schizophrenia are no more prone to violence than the rest of the general population. I read that and I breathed a sigh of relief, like, wow, okay, because I was scared for years, and this is hard for me to say, but it's the truth, I was scared all those years that schizophrenia was a disease where you might hurt somebody. I never wanted to hurt anybody. I never had any inclination to do that, like many other people with schizophrenia. Yet I that was my understanding of the disease, that that's what it was. That was like the definition of it. So I prayed for all those years, from 94 till early 2000, 2001 or two that that wouldn't happen, that I wouldn't hurt anybody. Yet I had never, I never had any feelings of hurting anybody. Never wanted to. Never. All those years, never wanted to. And I breathed a sigh of relief when I read that. Oh, wow, you mean this isn't a problem for me? This isn't what schizophrenia is? Uh, this means I'm not probably going to hurt anybody? 
wow, what a relief. And yet at the same time, I was upset. Like, why? Why didn't anybody tell me this sooner? I never read that stat until six, seven, eight years after I was diagnosed. I never read that stat. And I wish more people would share that stat. Can you share that stat for me? Could you do that for me? People with schizophrenia are no more prone to violence than the rest of the general population. It's like saying, look out for those left-handers. They might hurt you. They can get violent. Or people who wear glasses, and yes, I wear glasses. People who wear glasses, look out for them. They could get violent. I'm no expert, but from my understanding, it's the same thing. Unless I'm missing something. If I'm missing something, please tell me. People with mental illness, people with schizophrenia are no more prone to violence than the rest of the general population. And yes, some people with schizophrenia hurt people, kill people, but it's not the norm. From, from what I understand, I'm, like I said, I'm no expert, but that's, those are the stats. And I wish we could have a conversation about this, that this could be mainstream knowledge so that other people who are diagnosed with schizophrenia today and people who've been diagnosed for years now, like me, can walk around and not have this, not have to pretend to be normal, pretend to walk normal and talk normal. Can we show them some respect, people who don't behave properly? Can, I mean, I, can, we, can we show them some compassion, some understanding? Yes, that's what he's got. He acts a bit different. You don't have to be frightened of him. It's a long haul. It's a long haul I went through. I've had 19, 1994 is 27 years ago. 27. I'm now 49. I was diagnosed at 22. Is it time for change? 